so much. I love you guys. I love what you're doing. Keep up Thank the you. great work for the kingdom. Bye, Jim. Bye, Bye. Mark. Bye, Grover. Bye, Blessings. Everyone. Blessings to you. Looking forward to hearing some good, good reports here. Thank you. Amen. And Jim, La Porta Abierta, Open Door, Jim Montoya open. here on ChristianBody.net. Welcome, everybody, to Open Door, La Puerta Abierta. Bienvenidos, queridos hermanos, a la programa aquí, La Puerta Abierta. Uh, we, we've just come back from uh, <laughs> being at the Ten Commandment Rocks. That's the Hidden Mountain, 60 miles to the west on the, of, la, of Los Lunas. And so we were seeing the Ten Commandments of Paleo Hebrew on rock here. So we're going to, I want to talk a little bit about, about it, but let me uh, translate that. Estuvimos a un viaje. A ver los diez mandamientos escritos en piedra, aquí como dice mías aquí de los lunas, y aquí vengo a hablar de lo que encontramos. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I got out of it, what, what I see, uh, and tenemos que volvernos a enfocar los diez mandamientos. That's what I got out of it. We got to focus on the Ten Commandments. Obviously, the Lord has brought it up and revealed it to us again. You know, many times we got to be post it again, see it again, go back to it again. Muchas veces nos, nosotros tenemos que volvernos a la palabra, muchas veces porque es que tengo que aprenderlo otra vez, o el Señor lo está dando revelaciones de eso. Perhaps the Lord is again revealing to us, and sometimes we get lost with this, but we do have a Pedro Hebrew site that uh, has been confirmed that it's Pedro Hebrew written Maybe the, the age is in question still. Is it, a, is it a, a, what is it, 2,500 years old, or is it, or 2,700 years old, or is it a, a 26, uh, 2,700 years old, or less than that, excuse me, 2,000 and, and 2,100 years old. I get myself mixed up in it. Posible que es de 2,500 o por lo más 2,100 años, no sabemos exactamente, pero ahí tenemos escrito... En una piedra, los diez mandamientos, ¿cómo lo hicieron? ¿Qué lo hizo? No sabemos. Who is the one that did it? This is the one that's in question, exactly. We have a little controversy, but again, I think the purpose of it for me is again to bring up the Ten Commandments to me one more time. Uh, yo creo para mí, el propósito era para a ver los diez mandamientos otra vez. No son los diez sugerencias, son los diez mandamientos. They're not the ten suggestions. Or I say, well, somebody wrote it up there and here it is. Uh, no, they're not suggestions. They're, these are the word of God. And I think this is where we got to go back to God's word. Ten commandments. Why did he write the ten commandments? ¿Por qué lo hizo? ¿Por qué lo escrito? Para mostrar a nosotros el camino que va a haber a él. To share us, show us the way. And the one commandment that really stands out to me, and I think that we, we need to focus on it, el mandamiento que yo miro que hay que enfocarnos es algo importante. No tendrás dioses ajeno delante de mí. This is out of Deut Deuteronomio 5, 7. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, 5, 7. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. <laughs> es una, un mandamiento muy importante para nosotros porque en vez de nosotros tenemos otros dioses que estás diciendo y que, hay, que nosotros tenemos otros dioses sí yo creo que nosotros sí tenemos otros dioses why, why are you bringing up we should have no other gods well, we don't have no other gods is that right I disagree many of us have other gods uh, God's before, thou shalt have no other God. Yes, we do. We're worshiping others. Who do you worship? ¿Quién ador, adoras? ¿Hago otras cosas que adoras mayor que Dios? La verdad, si leas la Escritura, vas a saber que sí. If you look at the Scripture, you're going to find out, yes, you do. Uh, uh, we got to repent of that. Hay que dejar eso, arrepentirnos del mal camino, porque estamos adorando otras cosas. Uh, primero, antes de entrar a eso, voy a leer este otro pasaje. But before we get there, let's look at Deuteronomy 13, uh, 3 and 4. Uh, Deuteronomio 13, uh, 4. 3 y 4. Está hablando de unos que da, otros profetas que están, está soñando 
uh, y diciendo otras profecías para <laughs> entrarnos a, a, un, a mal. There, there are dreamers and those prophets that are giving us dreams. And what, what do we do with all these dreams and prophets that are coming up with a, a word? Well, I'm going to read, read here. Voy a leer ahora 13, 3 de Deuteronomio. Y dice, no darás oído a las palabras de tal profeta, ni al tal sonador de sueños, porque Jehová vuestro Dios os está probando para saber si améis a Jehová vuestro Dios con todo vuestro corazón y con toda vuestra alma. Verse 3 again. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your, your God proves you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Aquí tiene la prueba. Con todo, de verdad, deberéis amas a Dios con todo tu corazón con toda tu alma, con todas tus fuerzas. Is it true that you love the Lord with all your mind, your heart, your soul, all your strength? Is that true? Y, y luego dice aquí, versículo 4. Impos de Jehová. A ver, espérate. Yeah. Ok. Impos de Jehová, vuestro Dios, <coughs> andaréis a él, temeréis, guardaréis sus mandamientos y escucharéis su voz y a él serviréis y a él seguirás. Aquí he said, you shall walk before the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. You shall serve him and cleave unto him. Aquí tiene el mandamiento para nosotros. ¿Estamos haciendo eso? ¿O estamos escuchando otra voz? Are we doing this? <clears throat> Are we listening to some other voice that's out there? Uh, this is the way. Oh, no. God is not the way. Él es el camino, pero dice, no, pues hay. Debe de hacer otra manera de alcanzar a Dios. There should be some other way that we can reach out to God. When the word says, no, I am the way, I am the truth, on the, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Dice la palabra de Dios. Yo soy el camino, la verdad y la vida. Nadie llega al Padre sino por mí. It's pretty straightforward. How many other things... Do we think, is there, do we really believe God to say he's the only God? Do we believe that or we think we believe it? Or, yeah, yeah, but I don't do it. Pero yo no lo hago. Yo, sí, sí, lo, pero no lo hago. No lo, no, no lo obedezco su palabra. No, no, estoy escuchando otro evangelio. Porque si no crees eso, estás alcanzando a otro evangelio. If you don't believe that, you're believing in another gospel. You don't say, well, uh, maybe, maybe so. Si dices, es posible. Estamos diciendo que la verdad no lo creemos a él. Creemos que hay otro camino, hay otra verdad, hay otro... No, no. ¿Quién da vida? Who gives life? Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Él nos da la vida y la vida eterna. Y hay que volver a eso, a conocer eso. Y si no creemos eso, porque muchas veces en este, bueno, estamos uh, pasando una, uh, el, el, uh, el, uh, que una persona se puede cambiar a su sexto, uh, en, entre cambio de eso, we, many of us are with this, this gender changes and stuff like that. Uh, lo que estamos haciendo, la verdad, es pensamos que Dios es, hizo un error. Eh, Dios estaba oh, equivocado. Y cuando los hizo, hizo hombre, mujer y, y otro. Uh, many of us in this controversy say, well, God must have been confused. God made a mistake. Uh, you know, well, there's God and there's a man and woman and then there's the other. Is that what the scripture says? Porque tenemos que volver a la escritura para descubrir eso. Él dice, él hizo hombre y mujer. Ahí se acaba todo. No hay más discusión. But we believe it. We don't believe God said, I make man, I make woman. And no other. He, he didn't talk about another. So we got to go back to the word to believe the word. A creer la palabra de Dios. Porque aquí, porque unos van a venir con sueños. Eh, unos sueños uh, sonadores y sueños y van a enseñar y anunciar otro. Por medio de los señales y prodigios. Many are going to be coming, like it says in, in verse 1 of chapter 13. There's going to come a prophet, a dreamer, a dream that will give thee. A sign or a wonder. We're going to believe it. 
And then what we're saying is uh, there is a narrative that is out there. Uh, another gospel narrative, we can call another gospel a narrative, which is false. I wouldn't, I would not, not a message, but message ellos van a sacar, van a soñar, van a decirles por medio de los señales y prodigios que hay otro camino, otra manera. Pero tenemos que volver a, a los mandamientos. Aquí yo estoy hablando de los diez mandamientos. And we, we need to come back to the Ten Commandments because we have profaned the name of God. <coughs> Hemos profanado su nombre, el nombre de Dios. Y es para, para no creerlo. Pero déjame leer. <coughs> Volvernos a Deuteronomio 5 y vamos a escuchar y siguiendo aquí uh, versículo 7. We're going to follow and look at uh, <coughs> chapter 5, verse 7. Perdóname, eh, discúlpame. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Ahí dice: No tendrás dioses ajeno delante de mí. Y sigue diciendo: Y no harás. Para ti escultura ni imagen alguna de cosa que está arriba en los cielos debajo de, en la tierra y en las aguas debajo de la tierra. Excuse me. It goes on here, verse 8. Thou shalt not make any the graven image, likeness, anything that is in heaven above, that is earth beneath, or that is in the earth, waters beneath it. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the Father upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, showing mercy and thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Diez, uh, nueve días, dice, No te inclinarás a ellas, ni las servirás, porque yo soy Jehová, tu Dios, fuerte, celoso, que visita la maldad de los padres sobre los hijos hasta el tercera cuarta, cuarta generación de los que me aborrecen y quien haga misericordia y que hago misericordia a millares a los que me aman y guardan mis mandamientos. Wow. Y sigue aquí hablando de su nombre. Estamos blasfemando el nombre de Jehová. We're defaming the word of God. Look at the next verse it says here. Uh, verse uh, no tomarás el nombre de Jehová, tu Dios, en vano, porque Jehová nos dará por inocente a que toma su nombre en vano. Thou shalt not take, <coughs> me, not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. In many ways, we take God's name in vain. How do we take his name in vain? Muchos de nosotros estamos tomando el nombre en vano a él. <laughs> uh, el nombre de una persona es grande, pero Dios, su nombre es grande, maravilloso, magnificente. La, el nombre de Jehová. The name of the Lord is a great name. It's a mighty tower. Es un, uh, dice, el nombre de Jehová es un torre fuerte. It's a great tower. Torre fuerte. That's what it is. His name is a great tower. It's not to be defamed. His name is truth. His name is righteousness. And when we don't believe him, we take his name in vain. That's my thought in it. Cuando tomamos, si no lo creemos a él, tomamos su nombre en vano. Porque él es bueno. Y para siempre su misericordia. He is good and his mercy is forever. He, God is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for the Lord. For he is good for his mercy endures forever. Dios es bueno para siempre su misericordia. This is where I want to stop here and take a little time for discussion. Has Mark gone off already? Let's see. Mark yeah, still yeah, he's off. Me? He's oh, on okay. another prayer meeting. Yes, he's gone already. Okay, we'll take it from there out there. Your comments regarding uh, thou shall have no gods before him or thou shall not take his name in vain. Comments for that because I think we have really stepped away from it. Nosotros hemos desviado por esas dos cosas, blasfamando su nombre, su gran nombre, y no creer que él es el Dios. No, te, no, hay, no tendrás dioses ajenos delante de mí. Go first, go over. Yeah, the, the take the name in vain thing is, uh, you know, and we were, we were brought up in our tradition to say, well, if we, if we curse, you know, that's, that's taking his name in vain. And it certainly can be. 
but it's much bigger than that because taking God's name in vain, and you were, you alluded to it, God's name is great. It overwhelms the universe. It, it you know, it's it's that kind of thing, and so taking His name in vain is diminishing it, making it smaller, yeah. making it not as important. Uh, I mean, just you could you could probably take it to the extreme. Oh, oh well, God doesn't really affect us nowadays. He's just kind of on the on the edge out there somewhere. I mean, that in a sense is almost that's what we're talking about. But it's yeah. anything that is diminishing the greatness of His great name. Well, uh, lo que dice hermano Vargo, uh, <laughs> Robert es algo importante. Si pensamos que hacer una maldición es es mal, pero es más grande que eso, algo que que traiga para que Dios sea bajo y como nosotros humanos que hace errores, no. El, el nombre de Jehová es Santo, Santo, Santo. The name of the Lord is Holy, Holy, Holy. He's holy. When we speak against him, we're speaking against his name to bring him down. Lower than that. Cuando hablamos de eso para defamar su nombre es para bajar en la santidad de Jehová. The holiness of God is to diminish it. Hacerlo de menos. Eso es lo malo de todo eso. Es lo que estamos mirando aquí que nosotros estamos haciendo. Disminuyendo el nombre de Jehová. Bajándolo a un nivel como una persona carnal. We're bringing it down to like car, a carnal like us. But God is holy. Él es santo y para siempre su misericordia. He is holy and for always, forever, his mercy to us. Uh, you got it more there or do we go on to Cipriano? Go on to Cipriano there. Cipriano, <laughs> they got me. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I actually looked up the word vain and I was looking at the synonyms of the word vain. And we're looking at things as in effect, hopeless, unsuccessful, unproductive, useless, worthless. That is the synonyms of the word vain. So it really encompasses a lot of things that's being said. And there's just an awful thing that that's being done. Él está buscando el nombre vano. Tomarlo en vano, pues es para despreciar. Es para decirle que no tiene valor, que no, 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 le, no tiene aplicación. Es uh, que no iba a tener uh, uh, éxito con ese nombre. Es lo, 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 para hacerlo menos, de, hablarlo de menos. Es lo que está expresando. And that's the expression. We're, we're expressing to not respect, not honor, not believe all these words. Que no, no estamos honrando. No estamos dando valor a Dios cuando usamos eso, porque pensamos desde el de salvación, the message of salvation, la salvación. Jesucristo pagó su vida para rescatarnos de la muerte y del pecado. Jesus paid the maximum price. Listen, we diminish this. The maximum price for our salvation and for life. Él pagó, el, era el máximo lo que podía dar a nosotros, su vida. The maximum is his life for us. And that's what we got to work from. I say we are, the, we are bringing into question his holiness, his promises, his work that he's done. Estamos uh, haciendo de menos el obra que hizo para nosotros para salvarlo, rescatarnos y poniendo de lado. And we're putting it to the side. It's not being important. No tiene importancia. So this, this is what I'm saying is this brings me to a point of understanding that the great the, the commandments of God are important for us to bring up again. Eso no está para expresarlo. Dios me está revelando a mí la importancia de los diez mandamientos. No son diez soberencia. God is bringing to me again a revelation of His ten commandments. Go over. Yeah, along that same line, Jim. If we are doing these things. According to the scripture in, in Deuteronomy 13, it's a death sentence. We're, we're sentenced to death. And that is the state that we live in without the Lord Jesus Christ. The law is very specific. It doesn't leave any place for us you know, to squeak by. Uh, we are condemned to death if we don't walk in every aspect of this 
uh, of the Ten Commandments and a number of other things as well. The, the Torah of God, the, the fullness of his testimony. And uh, so that brings us to the, to the glory, to me, this is the glorious place of saying we can be righteous before God, but not on our own wor works, our own efforts. It's on and by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God has made a way for us to walk in the fullness here. Pues ya sobre nosotros, si no lo creemos, si no lo hacemos eso, tenemos que la muerte adelante de nosotros. Ya solamente hay vida con Cristo. Sin Cristo no podemos alcanzar a recibir salvación. Y para recibir os, eh, el condenación que va, la muerte es la condenación. La muerte, vamos a morirnos eternamente, no lo más aquí. Porque no creemos, estamos condenados. Y nunca vamos a ver destituido de Dios, nunca vamos a ver la gloria de Dios adelante. Y a ser justos adelante. De él. Y es que por medio de la sangre de Jesucristo. And it's all by the blood of Jesus that we are in. Así podemos recibir eso, a tener respecto a eso. Dios es santo. Y lo que adoran, lo adoran espíritu y verdad. To be righteous. And to receive him uh, in spirit and in truth. And this is where we get to the point of truth. But we got to get, get ourselves right because we are very, uh, uh, apart from him, we, can, we cannot get there. No vamos a alcanzar a Dios sin recibir a él. Hay que obedecer que no tendrás dioses ajenos. You shall have no other gods before me. No tendrás dioses ajenos delante de mí. You shall not have any gods before you. And what does it say, plural gods? Porque dice dioses, o diosas, o lo que sea. Porque si hay dioses y dioses. There are God, other gods out there. And what are some of these gods? ¿Qué son, son los, unos de los dioses que, eh, que adoramos? What are they? Grover, or, or Cipriano. What are some of those gods we worship? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I need to say anything here? <laughs> <laughs> I was holding my cell phone here. Cell phone. Amen. Technology. Technology. And, and what you touched on was, was, you know, we have violated God's law. And the one of the wonderful things about God is he is so, his grace is so beyond understanding that to be willing to give his son that we would uh, be forgiven of our sins and be pardoned. Can you imagine being pardoned of our sins? and put in our hearts the Holy Spirit and come to a place that we don't follow the, 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 the commandments now because we have to. We do it because we love God. And that's a very different outlook. For the love of God, we do these things. Lo que estamos mostrando el hermano Cipriano es algo de, de Dios. La, la ley de Dios, los mandamientos de Dios, y su gracia, y su perdón. No va a perdonarnos de nuestros pecados y el don del Espíritu Santo que nos dio para que podemos, podáis uh, rescatar de la, de la muerte, pero el, el mandamiento, la, el Espíritu Santo para ayudarlo a uh, sobrepasar los, los, uh, los pecados que encuentras. Con el poder de Dios, nosotros so, uh, sobre, uh, pa, uh, pa, pasamos las los, los, uh, tentaciones y los problemas del mundo sin él, imposible pero podemos mantener y seguir la ley por medio de eso del Espíritu Santo para tener su amor no va a dar la capacidad de hacerlo the, his love is going to give us the capacity to overcome sobrepasar estos problemas que encontramos and that's, that's very good but going back to the kinds of, 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 of gods that we have que son los dioses que tenemos en nuestra vida o también le voy a preguntar a, a lo que está escuchando que cual, cual son los dioses que estás adorando what are the gods you are worshiping this is a question I'm asking to people that are listening but some are, what are some of these other gods that we need to talk about here today well, one of them is people have a tendency to actually worship people okay also worship the things that people, places, things, and situations in their life. That can encompass uh, people, uh, uh, a government, an authority, uh, uh, make it a god. That's really what they're doing. We're making them gods. 
uh, and replacing God with these gods. Okay. Porque está haciendo, estamos reemplazando en vez de a Dios a otra gente, una personalidad, posible un profeta, dice hasta las, las, las caras de uno, los, los cosas del mundo, y también obedeciendo, sometiendo a la autoridad, al gobierno, no con una persona, se puede, y lo estamos usando en, en vez de Dios, y es, es el, el problema que tenemos, es posible. No, porque estamos regresando aquí al capítulo uh, 13 del uh, Deuteronomio que le estaba leyendo. Porque se puede venir una persona, un profeta, un soñador de sueños, y te va a engañar por medio de señales y prodigios. I'm back to chapter 13. Uh, some prophet, some seer uh, will entice you with miracles to believe another gospel. And that's what we got to guard against. And that's what thou shalt have no other gods before you. We got to go back to that. You cannot, nor shall you make any images. No hacer ni imagen de eso. Porque muchas personas llegando a agarrar un, uh, una cosa del pasado, uh, unos uh, bueno, santos, eh, adorando los santos es una cosa. Santos, santos, cosas hechas de mano, escrituras hechas de manos. And some, of, some people are, have actually statues that they're worshiping statues, things that they received from the past that they say, well, we worship them instead of the Lord Jesus Christ. En vez de adorar a Jesucristo, hay muchos que adoran otras cosas hechas de pasado, que estamos como Dios o diosas. And there are other people that will worship like gods. You know, and there's, they're, they're uh, things that they have made with their hand. And they're uh, saying, well, they're holy. Estas cosas son santos. No, es, es algo mal que de hacer. They're worshiping things that were made by hand. And we can look at Isaiah and look at all the prophecies about the things made with stone, made with wood. They worship him. They adorn him with gold. And they sit down and they worship him. Las personas se adoran. Una pedazo de piedra, una, un palo, y dicen, y comienzan a adorar hasta eso también. So we have that happening. That's a, in the Bible, it speaks to that. To avoid it, thou shalt have no other gods before him. Any other comments, Sir Grover? We have a few minutes left here. Yeah, Jim. Uh, anything, yeah. anything that stands above God. Uh, good things. You know, we're talking about evil things uh, here primarily, but, uh, you know, if your lifestyle is more important than your walk with God, that would be an idol. If your uh, career, uh, your profession stands above your walk with God, that could be an idol. Uh, your kids could be an idol. Your family could be an idol. These are good things. These are God things. But if they stand before God, he was very clear that we are not to let even family, friends, wives, children are not more important than God. So, you know, we can just go on down the list here. Hey, good things. Church could be a God. Your, your <laughs> understanding, your traditions, of the traditions of men uh, make of no avail the word of God. That's, wow. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a shot at it, Jim, <laughs> without the Savior. Hermano <laughs> Grover está poniendo muchas cosas que son buenos en nuestras vidas, el estilo de la vida, en la carrera, la iglesia, los hijos, la familia, tradiciones. Estas cosas son más que Dios. Esos son diosas o dioses también. Pero está aquí ahora y estamos llegando al punto de terminar el programa. Gracias por estar con nosotros. We're almost at the end of the program today, but thank you for listening here. Thou shalt have no other gods before you. No, tendrás dioses, diosas, adelante de Dios. Él es Dios, el Todopoderoso, el Santo, el único de Israel, nuestro Salvador es nuestro Jesucristo. Él es el Dios que debemos de adorar. We, we should have no other gods before him. Jesus is Lord, and through him there's salvation. There's no salvation in other name. Jesus, he's the God we worship. Entonces, esto, el Señor Jesucristo es el Dios que debemos adorar porque no hay salvación en ningún nombre, solamente Jesucristo es nuestro Salvador y hay que creer en Él y recibirlo. Y espero que usted lo recibió la palabra de hoy. No tendrás Dios ajeno. And I hope you receive this word. You shall have no other gods before you. 
Grover. Amen. And with this is ChristianBody.net. You can find this video and many others at uh, CBNet Media at uh, YouTube. So we invite you to breeze over there and come back next week. Bless you now. This is ChristianBody.net.